We begin here with something that is no surprise. The Black Panther sequel, as we anticipated, crushed it at the box office on opening weekend. Disney Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever brought in an estimated $330 million globally, $180 million in the U.S. The sequel's debut marks the fifth highest international opening weekend for any Hollywood film. The film, which also highlights Latino indigenous representation, also beat out 2013's Hunger Games Catching Fire for the biggest November debut ever. To the Critics' Choice salute to Latino cinema and television held over the weekend awards galore, including one for 19-year-old Jenna Ortega, who of course is now Wednesday, the title character in the new Netflix series of the same name. I feel very, very lucky to be here. I, it's kind of intimidating, I'm not going to lie, because there's so many people in this crowd that I, I've looked up to and admired for a really long time. And of course, only the two most prominent Mexican directors working today were both there. First, the great Alejandro Iñárritu, winning for Best Director for Film. I think that, you know, Latino, Latina, Hispanic, Latins, Latin X, Latin A, <laughs> no word will be able to never pin down to describe, to reduce us in a way that doesn't matter. The diversity, the complexity, the richness of our cultures and the difference of our countries. Also great, Guillermo del Toro delivered a rousing speech for his Career Achievement Award. What we're doing now, where we are, what I'm doing here, and what you are doing here, is very important. Do you think it is a coincidence that this is the year where our skin is too dark for to play an elf, or our accent is wrong to play Marilyn. We're here, and they feel it. When I say they, it's those that choose to see us as all the same. And we're Panamanian, Ecuadorian, Cuban, Mexican. And you know what, for those, we should be the same. We should be a single unit, all of us, a single person, and show them what we can do. That is your entertainment.